Okay. See, all this is coming down now. She's getting her, her booty okay. hair. Yeah. So back there, you're going to still come now, down. Now, over on here, her, tail. her liver will come all the way down. See? Yeah. On right. this side. Huh. You the other one, the white on you the can blade. let it grow as much as you want, but it'll never come down like this. But that's, that's okay. A, there's a wide spot of white. And that's okay. It's no big deal. I kind of like the white myself on the show side. No, it's cute. In fact, um, Bronte has the same thing on that side. I like to try to get balanced here and mm -hmm. here because as you get away from the judge, it could present an optical illusion. Right. But, you know, it, that's not a requirement. You, you know, you're not buying the dog for its markings. You're buying the dog for the structure. Let me the tell markings you. help, but... Yeah. Now, there are markings that, that really are very... Distracting. Just, yeah, very bad for the dog. And you'll find that those dogs just have a terribly hard time finishing. But then there's some that are stunning. Yeah. So... Well, I was talking to Deb last night when I was watching the Westminster show. I noticed handlers or owners shoes in comparison to what the oh, dog we were talking about colors oh, oh yeah like skirts colors how yes. a dog can blend in with a skirt like you don't want to wear black. colors that don't work with your dog black and white you're lucky all right but liver and white if you wear a yellow with them uh, or red no red. purple greens pinks they look pretty yeah but also if you wore a black or a liver colored skirt yeah the dog is going to blend in with the skirt you don't want them to disappear okay i know 